Today we're gonna review the Driftwood Purple Nightmare. Nightmare! What the fuck? Hey, this is Kevin Antrezian over at Backroom Studios. Today we're gonna look at the Driftwood Purple Nightmare. A lot of you probably don't know about this amp or the company, and uh, maybe you've never heard of it or seen it, but I've been uh, talking to a few producer friends of mine and they've recommended it to me, and uh, that's why I have one here. And uh, so the company is super small. It's run by one guy. He does everything himself, which is kind of amazing considering the quality you get for this build. I mean, this is this is top top dollar German engineering here. Um, if you look at this thing in, inside and out, it's crazy. The feature set this thing has is unbelievable. I know it sounds crazy. So in a nutshell, this is a 100 watt tube amp. Uh, it has a built-in effects loop, which is tube buffered, which is great. And the power section can be configured all kinds of different ways. The one that he sent me has two KT88s and two 6L6s, so that's like massive. Um, and you know, obviously the clean channel is amazing because of that. It sounds very Fender-y, very American, if you would. If you look up on the website too, you'll notice that there's a lot of customization that you can do. They have a full price list of like the feature set, and then you can go into, you know, uh, aesthetics. And you can go into the, the flame maple, which I would obviously recommend. It looks awesome. Uh, I got mine in blue because I'm super obsessed with blue amps. You can get like different Tolex. You can get snakeskin, which I almost got to. Um, all kinds of different stuff, different knobs, custom knobs, whatever. He'll do whatever. He's great. So talking more about the uh, customization of this amp, you can have it with all 6L6s, four of them. You can have four KT88s. You can have two 6L6s, two KT88s. You could even ask him to do by special request EL34s or KT66s. So you can really have any kind of setup you want with this amp. So now it's front panel time. You guessed it. Now we're going to talk about everything on the front panel. Amazing. So we got two master volumes, right? Uh, if you want to have one set a little bit higher, you can have a boost if you want to select between them. There's a blue LED here that will tell you when your noise gate is kicking in because your signal sucks and is super noisy. You have a rumble and sharp knob uh, that's just pretty much like a depth and presence knob on traditional amps. And the sharp knob has a frequency selection here. The one to the right is a little bit higher up. You have your volume, your channel volume, bass, mid, treble, and gain controls for your clean and your uh, dirty channel respectively. There is a voicing mode switch, and then the, the gain channel, they call the burn channel, has a high and low gain mode. Uh, we're just gonna leave it in the high gain though. Um, then you also get this amazing TS9 Tube Screamer. Uh, built into the amp so you can select that you know on and off via the foot switch and you can dial in your you know your your, your tone and then here is said foot switch where it has all your channel selection fx loop on and off master volume selection tube screamer on and off and look look click mute button why every company if you want these all right so now we're on the back panel and look at this fucking thing. There's so many different knobs and like options here. It's kind of overwhelming, but that's amazing. In, in typical German fashion, there's more than you need here. So if you want to look back here, you can see these crazy ass giant KT88s and 6L6s. So that's pretty rad. Um, let's start from this side and go over. We have full power, 100 watts, or we can go down to, I think it's two watts, which is ridiculous. This is the night switch. The old night switch, so you want to play and grandma doesn't want to hear you upstairs. Go to that, playing in your bedroom. So then we got uh, the parallel outputs, this is just for your speaker outs. You can, you know, select what impedance you want to run, you know, and it has like, you know, a little diagram, a little lettering here to tell you, you know, if you want to use two 8 ohm cabs, you're going to run this guy, so you don't have to fuck it up. You have your foot switch here. You have your external switching, which is awesome. So if you're running something like an FX8, like I used to, or some kind of other uh, quarter inch uh, switching system, this will switch the channels for you from another device. Kudos on that one. Then this also has your tube screamer assignment, how you want that to turn on um, via like the foot switch or you know what have you. And it has your same thing with the effects loop. Then you have your send and return for your effects loop. You have a tuner out, which is cool. And then look at this guy, a nine volt DC output burning a pedal. 
so if you really want to use a certain kind of whatever, you know, um, you know, a, an overdrive or something like that, it's a dedicated output for that. You can daisy chain off of that. I wouldn't recommend doing that just because daisy chaining always introduces noise, but uh, you should be good to go with one pedal of your choice. Super convenient though. Like who thinks of this shit? This is awesome. Then we're moving on. We have our noise gate control. This is our threshold. And then we have our, you know, our on and off selection, how we want it to run. Then we have more shit. We have bias ports. So we can uh, bias test points here. Um, we can, you know, this is for valves six through nine, or six and nine, I'm sorry, and then valves seven and eight here. And so if you, if you wanna go for it and bias your own amp, you don't have to take it all apart and look underneath and try to find the pot for it. You got it right here, you have fuses, and then you have your power. Boom! Now that we've gone over the full feature set of the amp, we're gonna pop in the Pro Tools and hear it on some of my mixes. Three weeks later. Hi! Now we're in Pro Tools land. We're gonna check out the driftwood. And uh, right now I'm gonna explain the signal flow that we got going on here. So we're gonna use some DI tracks from a band, In the Presence of Wolves. Uh, this is from their last record, and this song is MUA. And it's actually the same uh, riff as the bumper as the intro of the YouTube channel. So uh, you'll recognize it, hopefully. Uh, what we're doing is we're, uh, we're coming out of Pro Tools from the DI going out of our radial X amp over here. We're going into the driftwood, and out of the driftwood, we're going straight into our two notes, uh, the torpedo, live, and then out of that, we're using this nice little Bestronics Dillinger escape plan cable. Wow, hit them up. And then from the torpedo, we're coming back out here. We're hitting this uh, Avitas MA5 mic pre because they sound fucking awesome. And then from there, we're going back in the Pro Tools. So it's, it's pretty easy, small loop. So let's check out the gain channel on the Purple Nightmare. This is with all the settings pretty much at noon. You got your master, you know, here. So let's check out the rumble is like all your like sub low end. Get rid of that, add a bunch. It's a lot harder to hear on an impulse response, to be honest. And then you have your sharp, which is like your presence. It's like it's pretty, pretty hairy, pretty fast. And then if you want to change it, the where the frequency is, you'll hear it gets a lot buzzier to the left. So if you want a little bit more high end cutting, switch to the left. A little bit more mid range focus, upper mids to the right. So now we're on the gain channel, the red. You get your channel volume, it's easy enough. You get your bass knob. This is has a lot of low end in this amp, by the way. Again, which you probably won't hear a ton of on the, the video. Mids. Trouble. Gain. So you can really saturate it if you want. And the gain has two, two uh, gain settings. You can go high gain or lower gain. This is not switchable via the foot switch or anything. This is just on the front of the amp. And if you want to get crazy, you can add in the TS9 circuit up here, and you can really hear the, the bottom end really tightens up. You hear a little bit more gain come in. So for you genty kids, it's pretty great. If you want to add more gain, you can go nuts with it, but. It's full everything. Cool, turn that back off. So there's the, uh, there's the gain channel. Great, so now let's check out the clean channel. Um, let me click on the Pro Tools tab. Oh, that is, that is not right, that is not clean. We're gonna get rid of that. That didn't happen, can we edit that? Stop it, get some help. 
All right, now on to the clean channel. Let's check that out. This is the verse of the song. So I'm gonna go over here. You know, you got your same master volume controls. You got the sharp. So you kind of hear the difference in that. Subtle, on the clean. Got your channel volume again. Got your bass. Really hollowed out that way. Your mids. Wow, crazy EQ that actually works. The treble. And your gain. This is a pretty clean channel, but you can get it pretty, pretty thick and gross if you want to. But it, it's pretty good, man. It's really great clean. And then there's a pretty much a bright switch. Cool. Fantastic. Hello. So we just heard the clean and distortion channels alone, but it doesn't really matter how they sound by themselves. Let's hear them in the mix of the song. So let's recap on the amp. Does it pass the sound quality test? Yes, you heard it. You just got, we heard it soloed, we heard it in the mix, it crushes. The clean channel's great, the high gain channel's great. What about feature set? This thing has tons of features. Um, it has, you know, a, a nine volt output. What amp has that? It has a night switch to go down to two watts if you want. The uh, mini nightmare has a, a, a speaker sim built into it. You know, this has a TS9 built into it. There's so many features on this and you can get it customized looks wise, however you want as well. Um, what about build quality? It's crushing, it's German, it's built like a tank. One guy does it in house. Uh, you really can't beat that. You know, you can talk to him directly and spec it out how you want. Uh, reliability, it's, you know, to be seen, but so far I've had no problems with this and I don't anticipate having any either. Uh, price. That would probably be the only thing that would stop some people from getting it. It is a little bit pricey. You do get a, do get a lot for that money, um, but you also have the option of getting the smaller version of this, which is, like I said, substantially cheaper. Is it versatile? Yes. You could do anything from rock to metal to country to jazz, blues. I mean, the clean channel can do a lot. Um, you know, you have the clean channel, you have a gain channel, which has switchable high and low modes. Uh, and then you have a TS9 for you can have a different boost. You have two masters, a noise gate built in. This thing has it all. With that said, we're gonna rate this amp at nine out of 10 depressed brand Starks. So thanks for watching that video. We have a lot of gear here at the studio and a lot more coming. I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section what you want us to do next. Hey Kev, what about the Rev? Was I asking you? Go clean a fucking toilet. Dang. Work done. Should have kept my mouth shut. If you ever had to clean a toilet, hit that subscribe button.